And good evening, barflies, lounge lizards, and welcome to Groovy Reviews. And tonight we'll be taking a look at the Arrow video release of Enter the Video Store, Empire of Screams. And this is a collection of films from the great Empire Pictures, which is one of my all-time favorite movie studios. And if you don't know Empire, as I often say, you're probably not watching this channel anyway. But this is just simply a great release. And this will be a review of the set itself only. I've actually covered Dungeon Master and Arena already previously in full on the channel, and I will link those at the end. But yes, this is it, and it is great looking. But you're thinking about it, that name, Enter the Video Store is cool, but Empire of Screams. Only two of the films of the five here are actually horror movies, the rest are sci-fi, but us sci-fi fans, we know how it goes. But let's start by just looking at the box itself. And it has some great original art. Looking like a video store, and we have things representing all the different movies. We have the dolls and Dungeon Master. Of course, more Dungeon Master. To the side, we have something from Arena. Looks like him after the fight. Bunch of information. And then, of course, from the Robot Jocks robot fighting the Dungeon Master stop motion scene. But first and foremost, opening it up, it comes in a slip case, of which I will probably just throw in the trash. No, I'm kidding. I just wanted to panic my slip case enthusiast friends. I wouldn't do that. But then we have the set itself, which is just a repeat of the outside. But it's nice, good quality. It opens up, and we have that happen. That happen again. I'm not going to cut that either. So we have the five films mentioned, which I guess I should have started with the five films that come in the set, but it's Robot Jocks, Arena, Cellar Dweller, Dolls, and The Dungeon Master. And we have here immediately on the side, a neat little book, which I haven't had a chance to flip through. I actually haven't really looked through the set at all. I just took the plastic off. I wanted to be surprised. Just like all of you that are watching this video that probably haven't seen the 15 other YouTube videos on this very topic. But Arrow Video Magazine, which I'm assuming is a bunch of essays and just background information on the film. So let's just take a little, little bitty flip through. Don't want to spoil too much. Dolls, Dungeon Master, which is the highlight of the set. And the thing that actually made me decide to finally get the set was I had read that with Dungeon Master, there's three different cuts of the film on the set. I didn't even know there were two additional cuts. There's a, an original pre-release version and then a European cut. So I'm looking forward to digging in and seeing what the different versions are. Because again, that is the highlight of the set. And one of my favorite movies. Let's start from here. And we have Robot Jocks. And this is actually the only film in the set I haven't seen. But I'm quite looking forward to it. And it's cool too because these... Let's open up. There's a whole bunch more other stuff to get to. But they have reversible artwork and I love reversible artwork even though 99 times out of 10 I generally stick with the actual original artwork from the films still nice to have that option but yeah, this is really cool original art very almost old-school anime looking but then what each film we have comes with cards again I haven't seen this one so can't say too much about it it's cool looking and also, each comes with a poster. And we, well, you, you get the picture. It's the new artwork on one side and then the original art on the other. Very cool little feature. And next is the aforementioned arena. As I'm aforementioned, I have covered in full on the channel. And this is a great little movie. Basically kind of a sci-fi Rocky in space. And you got a guy fighting a bunch of practical effects monsters that look amazing. Oh, well, that, that's spicy. And let's take a look at the... He's really in there. Yeah, see, I mean, I'm definitely going to display these with the original cover. Again, I appreciate the new stuff, but I can't pass on that. Let's take a look at the 
postcards. Spicy. Not quite as spicy, but you got Odo there. Not Odo. What am I talking about? Quark. And that guy. We're going to put him in the front because, you know, everyone wants to look at that more than I do that. And again, we have the poster. And next, we have the first of the screens portion of the Empire of Screams, and that's Cellar Dweller. And this is a great 80s creature feature by John Carl Buchler, who was uh, an effects artist turned filmmaker. And the practical effects in this are incredible. You would not believe this was a low budget film. The, the Cellar Dweller effects himself, right up there with like the Jim Henson creature shop. I mean, it is that good. Very, very impressive. That John Carl Buchler. He knew how to do some effects. Oh, see, how can I not display that cover? Again, this is cool, but that right there, that's the stuff. I was about to say, this one didn't have cards. They were just backwards. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That is incredible. And his the way his mouth moves and stuff, very, very cool. Little Jeffrey Combs cameo at the first scene. Another Jeffrey Combs. They're really playing up that Jeffrey Combs in this one. He's in the movie maybe five minutes. Another cool thing about this one that um, really touches, really hits home, is there's a one of the main guys is a comic book artist, if I remember correctly. And now we have the next screen, and that is Dolls. And this was an absolute favorite of mine as a lad. I had it on VHS taped off TV, and I would just watch it over and over and over again. And this one is definitely the most unique killer doll movie I think I've ever seen. And it actually feels more like a really dark fairy tale than it does anything else. I'll tell you, there's the original art for that one. Now let's take a look at the cards. Yeah, looking back, you know, even the little girl's kind of creepy. I don't think she was supposed to be, but I'm getting creeped out just looking at that. Mr. Punch. Yeah, this is a good one. Like, if you've never seen dolls, definitely recommend that one if you like dark fairy tales and the whole killer doll. I know it's the same thing we just looked at, but I know folks probably will want to see the poster. And I, I gotta say, this is one I might actually keep the cover, this new design, this new artwork, because I don't know, I do kind of dig that, and it fits with the movie a bit better than the doll holding the eyes. That makes it look a little bit, I don't know, a little bit different than what it is. And finally, as I mentioned, the highlight of the collection, and that's The Dungeon Master. As I also mentioned, one of my all-time favorite movies. Saw this one in the theater on a Saturday afternoon as a lad, and it just really captured the imagination. And I'm really looking forward to checking out these different cuts of the film. Because we have the original Rage War, and then we have a European cut. Uh, that's a cool cover, but... See, in this case, I would have gone with the one with Blackie Lawless on the on it because I mean, you got it, Wasp, one of my all-time favorite bands, probably my favorite band band, and then you put him on, you use the cover with Blackie on it. That is outrageous, outrageous. But at least Blackie made it into the new art. Let's see. Oh, got an Aero Video Sales rental service card. That's a neat little touch. Torn bar barcode. All right, there, as I mentioned, Blackie, they know. The Dungeon Master. And then, of course, Bull Shannon, what he was up to before Night Court. Oh, let's look at that mummy on the... Let's see this artwork big. You know, that is a pretty cool poster. Yeah, see, I think and this is a case where... I don't know. Which way to display? I mean, I know the Blu-ray is going to be the original poster, but which side of the poster would I want to hang up hanging the poster? Hmm. 
All right, folks, well, that was just a quick, speedy, not very good look at the Enter the Video Store Empire of Screams set. Let me ask you guys this question before I go. How would you display this bad boy if you got it? Would you keep it all in the set as it is, or would you take out the individual movies and put them on the shelf in their proper place of whatever your movie shelf looks like? Let me know, because I've been debating that. Because I will display the case, but do I want to keep the movies in it, or do I want it on the shelf so I can see these beautiful spots? And I have to say, I dig me some Arrow video. Next to Criterion, they are easily my favorite of the boutique movie companies. And their stuff is almost always with really good prices. I mean, this set right here, these five movies in this set, can you imagine what it would cost if Vinegar Syndrome would put this out? No, thank you. Arrow for me. And that's all the time we have this week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and keep it wacky. Oh yeah, something I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention in the video itself. As of this moment that this is filming, this is going up, and I'm actually filming this the day it's going up, which is something I don't think I've ever done before, but Amazon really messed me around on getting this one in time in a timely manner. But, but apparently this one is sold out everywhere. But from what I hear, I, and I get some top secret information from Mr. Dick Vincent that there might be some more about the pop-up. You just got to keep an eye out.